utility bills that are less than $180 a month. I've seen net zero energy homes. Uh, and I've seen 2,000 square foot homes that have utility bills exceeding $500 a month. So um, along with that, I speak here today mostly as a businessman and as a conservative in trying to promote additional investments in energy efficiency through the Georgia Power Program to invest more in efficiency as a way to solve many of the problems that we have here today. Um, so far with the energy efficiency program that Georgia Power has launched, the 0.3% of total sales, uh, the results tell us a lot. And the first point it tells us is that energy efficiency programs lead to homes and buildings that are simply healthier, more comfortable, and cost look much less to operate. Uh, often lost in this conversation about efficiency though is the fact that we also improve the health and the comfort of the space as a natural byproduct of the services that we are trying to provide when we're focusing on efficiency. Uh, number two, energy efficiency creates jobs. I, I'm hearing a lot of things in the economy about these plants shutting down and job loss, and that's heartbreaking. You know, we all want to see a good, stable growth of uh, economic opportunity for the <coughs> citizens of the state. Energy efficiency is a place some of that can land. The jobs in this space tend to be fairly technical in nature. Uh, they're very hard to replace employees because of the training and the time and effort it takes to bring them up to speed. So, uh, and ultimately you'll hear from a number of other people in this, this room that these jobs are in high demand. I mean, one of our biggest challenges in meeting our growth projections is really finding the right technical people in order to provide those services into this economy. Number three is that energy efficiency works and you don't have to worry about construction delays, budget overruns, things like that. Uh, and to date, with relatively little effort and commitment, Georgia Power has actually exceeded its energy efficiency saving goals in 2011 and 2012 by 40 gigawatts of hour, about 13% of the goal. And according to results right now, Georgia Power is also on track to meet and exceed its, its 2013 goals. Uh, another key point in this, number four, is that energy efficiency is really the most affordable way to hit targets and will bring down wholesale pricing of power long term for all residents of Georgia. According to the company's own DSM application, residential and commercial energy efficiency programs have a levelized cost of energy of approximately 0.015 cents per kilowatt hour. This is significantly less than the levelized cost of nuclear power, which is estimated at 0.07 to 0.11, and substantially less than coal, wind, solar, or any other form of, of production. You have also heard testimony already from the South Southern Alliance for Clean Energy, stating that the enhanced 1% investment versus the proposed DSM portfolio will improve the results threefold by 2023, taking the savings from roughly $2.3 billion in net present value savings all the way up to about $6.2 billion in savings during that time. Just to, just to be more, if you could try to finish up, we're trying yes, to keep it under three minutes. Um, where we go from here is also about staying competitive nationwide. And while George Power has done a lot, the point three is very low in comparison to places like Duke Energy, TVA, Gulf Power, and many other states in the U.S. This is why we feel that increasing the savings target to 1% of total sales is a more appropriate and attainable goal in fact, 21 other states already have these in place at 1% or higher. I thank the Commission for allowing me the opportunity to provide public comments here today. Thank you for your comments.